I can get the car passes and whatnot once I've got a job. Oh, oh! <laughs> Rip! I'm dead! For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G dot com. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 4. Sitting behind that wood board is my first drift build of the game, not using the FD car. So if you guys know me, you guys probably already know what car this is. Probably my, one of my favorite cars I used to use in Horizon 3. It is the S13 wide body full rocket bunny on those deep dish Forza wheels. We're here today to uh, get a little bit sideways, test the wheel settings in a built drift car not an fd car with the super angle mod with just drift suspension drift car so we're going to get this car sideways and have a little fun with it of course we're going to get the wheel cam turned on and we are rocking our g920 with our wheel settings that from previous video if you didn't check that out make sure you check the video from previous episode to check out the wheel settings of what i'm using right now so we're going to get into the car and uh we're gonna we're gonna send it and we're gonna just gonna have a little fun with it today taking down our own fences but I mean it's okay it's our own fences so like I said this S13 is a fully built S13 with uh, on sport tires we are rocking the stock motor but fully built it's roughly 580 some horsepower and uh, we're just gonna send it it is a little wet but I'm gonna send it anyways I thought that turn was a lot sooner than it was so First impressions of how the wheel feels. Um, it feels pretty good um, with this car. I feel like the actual built drift cars feel a lot better than, say, the uh, FD cars on a wheel. I don't know if it just has to do something with the very dramatic steering angle and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just going to uh, we're gonna hop to the. Um, festival and then we're going to go from the festival to the donut section and then up the hill to the mountain section get some drifting going on have a little fun with it um i hope you guys enjoyed the uh wheel spin episode last episode like i said if you guys want to know the wheel settings i'm using make sure you guys check out the previous video i will leave the link in the description box below for last episodes with i go into my uh wheel settings so we did get out of the winter season if you remember last episode we were in the winter season we are in spring season now we did do, I did do some racing to get out of uh, winter to get to spring. So now we are going to go rip this car today for basically the first drift, first actual drift here on Forza Horizon 4. So, of course, we're going to head to the little donut section, which is actually kind of cool that it's in the game and we have this little donut section, but we're going to try and rip the outside of it. There we go. Right there, nice and smooth. I should have stayed on throttle a little bit more. Throw the wheel back. Cut the inside of there. Just a tap on that. So like I said, this is a S13 around just under 600 horsepower. So we are going to send our way up to the mountain. If I can remember which way the mountain is. I believe I just have to turn around. I do. I got to turn around. The Toge Mountain section is probably going to be one of the biggest drift sections in the game. Uh, it's got a lot of nice SE turns, but there's also a lot of nice other sections that um... Thanks, man! Saying nice car as he flies by. So there's a lot of other nice sections in the game, but uh... Or, or okay. So people are using the chat system, which is kind of cool. So I figured we would just uh... get our car up here, get some sideways for today, and just uh have a little fun with this car and actually just get some actual drifting in since we haven't really gotten actual drifting in now I wish this was a drift zone because I know it's a drift zone from the demo I just don't have it unlocked and I totally uh, overcorrected and which sent my car the wrong direction from where I wanted to go 
Ooh, and that's the next five. So we lost our mirrors and stuff, but like I said, S13, I will show the tune if you guys want to see and maybe build it. I mean, a lot of people probably already have S13s out. And I am uh, anticipating the car is going to slide differently because, like I said, I've been trying to drift the FD cars. There we go. That's better. Which I think have a little bit too much steering angle for what I'm used to. So these cars are a little bit better on just drift suspension. It's a lot smoother. As you can see, I can actually get, you know, decent... Uh, drifts and handbrakes in. If you remember when I was in the Alcolindale car, as soon as I pulled the e-brake, it like almost snapped backwards. So these cars are a little bit, I guess, more forgiving. I bet you if I actually sat there and tuned one of the FD cars, it would probably feel a lot nicer, but I am having a lot more fun in this S13 right now. So we're going to send it back up the mountain. So the one thing is this mountain section, I wish the uh, hairpins were a little bit shorter so you can kind of link them. I mean, you can link them with a manji in there, but it makes it pretty hard to get a nice tandem in. Unless you have people that can manji together. Can't break that. It'll fit on the brakes, stay on throttle. I'm trying to use gentle angle just to try to keep the car Pointed in the right direction up the hill. That was a long handbrake grab, but we're getting it. We're getting the drifting down here in Forza Horizon 4. The cars do feel a lot different because of the drift suspension than what I'm used to in, like, say, Horizon 3. And the physics are a little bit changed, so the cars do feel a lot better. Um, I feel like the drifting is going to be a lot more fun in this game than... I mean, Horizon 3 was good, but it was a very arcadey. This has somewhat of a sim arcade feel. So it's definitely nice to have that little bit of a difference. I probably should have been in a different gear. So I am fighting the wheel a little bit because I feel like my settings are slightly off. So I think we're going to go in and change our settings up a little bit. And uh, I think we might be rocking a little bit. Too low of tire pressure. Gearing is okay. Alignment. I feel like we're going to knock this down a little bit. Bump that caster back up. And everything else will leave the same. And we will uh, try and send it now. So, if you guys have the game and you're enjoying drifting, what's your favorite drift spot? Because uh, I haven't explored the map a lot yet, so there's still a lot of parts of the track that I haven't explored yet so I know there's probably a lot of cool drift spots that I haven't even gotten to yet man I think I got in my way so we're just here trying to have a little fun get sideways in our S13 there we go that's better I don't want to hit that you know Land Rover or whatever that is right there so, drifting is definitely uh, definitely different, but it feels good. I mean, on a wheel, the settings feel pretty good. There is that little bit of uh, hard feel on transitions, but I think that has something to do with settings. There we go. So I'm gonna try and not hit the wall. So I'm gonna try and fine tune this S13 a little bit because it is probably my favorite drift car. If you guys have followed the channel, you know I, I've been rocking S13s for a very long time. There we go. Now we're getting it. Can we can we link these? Nope, that's going to be too much. See, the wheel has a bit of a stiff spin back. And I think that has something to do with the wheel settings in a sense. I may have to turn some things down because I've never really gotten a chance to uh, send, a, send a car like purposely in drifting. Ooh, don't hit that. So today was the first test for that. So we're going to rip it this way. I feel like we're going to do a nice uh, little fourth gear rip. I try to try to stretch it out with the brakes, but it didn't work out how I planned. So I am getting a little bit of uh, understeer on the car. So 
little bit of fine tuning. The tuning is not exact like it would be for, say, uh, Forza Horizon 3 or 7. So the tuning is going to be a little bit different in these games. So it's just a matter of figuring out what tuning works best. We're going to rip this drift zone, though. I was going to rip the e-brake, but decided not to. Those walls really do stop you. So we're going to try and rip this uh, rip this drift zone. We've ripped it before, and we have gotten three stars on it, but I feel like we should uh, rip this a little bit more. So Hamster and I did uh, get a little... Uh, Little uh, tried to get a little mountain tandem session going earlier, and uh, well, there was some funny moments with that. We threw that too much. So before we end this episode off, I'll leave you guys with some of the uh, the clips from when uh, Hamster and I had a little bit of a uh, mountain incident you have arrived earlier in the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, just a little little. A little glimpse into drifting um we will be getting more into the gameplay as well as getting more tandems and stuff and doing game of drift and stuff here on horizon 4 but today was just a build a car get into it get a little sideways have a little fun and uh basically test the wheel settings that i've set up from last episode to see if they feel good on a drift car which they do feel good. Are they perfect? I feel like they're okay. Could I make some fine tuning? Probably make a little bit of fine adjustments. So we did get 61,000 on this drift zone in a previous time. So as you guys know, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All the are found in the description box below. Um, I will be doing some more live streaming, probably doing streaming on Twitch as well here in the near future. So make sure you guys follow me on all those platforms. Make sure you uh, comment on the videos if you want have any thing you'd like to comment on there i'm very adamant about responding to you guys's comments and do tap that like button and hit bell notifications if you want to get the videos as they come out so as always you guys know you can follow me on facebook twitter, twitter and instagram all which are found in the description box below so until next time thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit and i will see you guys next time third gear let's go Oh, screw it, I'll get the cheap version. I applied more power in it. Oh! <laughs> the tandems! I need it. I can get the car passes and whatnot once I've got a job. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Rip! I'm dead! You literally just sent me off the side of the belt. <laughs> oh my god. What did I just miss? That's what happens when we get too close to doors and I door tap him and he goes off the edge of the mountain because we're on oh, the edge. That's the intro right there. <laughs> Dude, that oh, was. Wow. <laughs> that was funny as hell. <laughs> oh. Dude, you literally disappeared on my screen. Dude, this is so cool. The, the only damage I have is literally on my right side door is caved in. That's awesome. All right, send it. So cool. All right, you not going to push me off the mountain this time? Well, I can't. Oh, I just dropped your plate off your car. <laughs> I don't know if the exactly damage in this thing is awesome. But I actually know how to drift in Ford's and Motorsport now. Oh, well. Not very good, but I'm actually able to drift. I mean, you gotta, you gotta start somewhere. I've got a 700 horsepower open magnet. Oof. The one thing I wish for is a, oh, I'm gonna tag that front bumper. Oh, I just pulled in at Nicole LZ with, uh, you know, Taylor Ray's car on, in Japan. Uh. The one thing that is very noticeable is, like, you're very twitchy online. I noticed that.
You wanna follow me now so I don't knock you off the mountain? I might knock you off. There we go. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what happened? I was inside of you, then you're a mile ahead of me. Uh. Damn it, try to get endorsed. Got too much break in it. I got dials to break out. <laughs> 